I'm vanilla baby. Okay. After work today, look at the sun right in my eyes. This is fantastic. So what do we have? What the heck is this crazy device thing? Is it a beginner jet or is it a pocket rocket? Uh, I think it could be both. Um, let me explain the beginner jet idea here. Um, super, super easy to print. I have a lot of people coming on the Facebook group asking um, what's the easiest one or, or so many people like they, they see my YouTube videos and they, and they want to, uh, and they want to print something easy or maybe then they've never printed with lightweight PLA before or whatever. Um, this would be, this would be a good, a good option because, um, you got very few parts. The canopy's printed in one. The first section here to this line is, is a piece. This middle section here is a piece. This is a piece. This is a piece. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. The wingtips don't really count because they're tiny little things. Um, 10, 11. I don't know. There's like 12 pieces. Um, and then what's on top? That is a 50 millimeter um, X-Fly EDF that is sold like that with the nacelle uh in it ready to go um that thing is a really cool unit because it's it's pretty much perfectly optimized i mean it's 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 even better than actually having just the edf there um it's aerodynamic it's uh it's it, it produces a lot of good thrust i can feel it it feels it feels like legit 900 grams um so another reason why this is an easy an easy build you don't have to worry about any extensions the extension wires come with that EDF. Your servos uh, underneath, they don't need extensions because they're right about here and they reach the receiver right in the, uh, in the cockpit area. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just super easy to glue together. Right now this is hinged, but I'm working on printing um, the Elevons in there. So you're not going to have to worry about, you can just print this whole wing section here and these are going to be printed in. And then all you do is you're just going to make a slit here and a slit here to free them. And then you're going to have full control surfaces. You don't have to worry about hinging them. Um, this was, uh, this was interesting to me because I had, to, I had to uh, print this, this thrust diverter um, because this thrust angle here, I can I can cut this whole section out and drop the the EDF down inside. I just kind of liked it on top. I, it's um, it's just cool kind of looking up on top. So I had to divert the thrust because when I first put this this thing on here and I would ramp up the thrust, it would just want to just push the nose down. So um, so that's no good. So uh, now it's pretty close. It's kind of pointing in the direction of the CG, which is what it's supposed to be. We got wind. Um, it's kind of gusty, so it's not good for a small a small plane like this. We're gonna find out right now how it flies, if it's a beginner jet, if it's not. This might just be a jet that people are gonna wanna scale up and throw a big monster motor on. Um, it, it might not be anything like a beginner jet, but um, you know, I'm always thinking about getting more people into this and uh, trying to help them out in that way. But uh, let's get this thing flying. Uh, try and throw this. I don't print hand launchers into the planes until I cut them in and see how it's going to feel. So, uh, hand launchers. I had to cut them with a knife. So, let's do this now and get this thing flying. And hopefully, it doesn't crash. This thing is cool. Whoa. Look at this. Wow. Look at it fly. I don't know if I need trim or not. Wow. It kind of is a beginner jet. 
I've never flown this thing. I definitely have to work on the thrust angle. Once the thrust angle is figured out, this thing is freaking cool. Whoa. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I built reflex, a lot of reflex into this wing because I know reflex is what, uh, is what works really well for beginners. Um, it it's, has a very good self-leveling feature in it. You can see, I've never flown this thing. I have 80% rates on both controls, okay? So on aileron and, um, and also elevator, I have full control and look how stable. It flies like it has a gyro in it. Look at it. It wants to climb a little. So the thrust angle is a little wonky, but that's gonna be fixed. This thing is a beginner jet and the stability is unbelievable. Wow. I had some people wondering about the vertical tails. Do you see this thing out of control? No. <laughs> Air finds its way between the, uh, look at this thing. <laughs> this thing is cool. This thing is so cool and it's fast. I'm not even going full yet. Whoa. I hope you can see this. I don't know if the sun is getting uh, glary. So neat. And it's quiet in the nacelle. Definitely needs some down, um, some down trim. Super cool, man. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, I have a custom airfoil that I made for this and it has, I put so, well, I don't want to give away all my secrets, okay? But let's just say it's got a lot of, re, it's got, it's got a lot of reflex. <laughs> this thing is making me laugh. It's like there's a gyro in it. It has a lot of reflex in it and it has, um, it has a lot of washout. Okay, and I did something funky with the wing tips. Look at this. <laughs> this is so cool, this little guy. All right, I'm having too much fun. I gotta, I don't wanna kill this battery. Um, I'm gonna bring it in, see how she, uh, how she lands. Oops, cartwheel. And this is why I was telling you that this is a beginner jet. This thing weighs, you ready? This thing weighs 630 grams, okay? 630 grams, okay? It's fine, it just cartwheeled. This is a 3D printed plane and it is, uh, it's so lightweight that it doesn't, it doesn't wanna break itself, all right? I'm gonna check the voltage real quick. I think, I, I hope I brought my, uh, my voltage checker. Oh good, the sun's gonna be down for the next flight. This thing is so fun. It is fun. I'm gonna um, go full rates on, um, on uh, I'm, gonna ra I'm gonna raise the rates on everything because I just wanna see what, what this thing can do. Um, this, is, this is the thing you put in the back of your car and you literally leave it in there. This thing is tiny. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's go do this again. Let's go fly this. No sun now. This is great. Now I can see. Easy launch before. Let's see. Oh, straight as an arrow. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, guys. So I, uh, I rewatched my video and I am tired of just... Uh, doing like seven minutes of just flying in circles and you know I, I get I get super excited when I get a, a brand new design flying really well and the way the lighting is you can't even really see this that well so I do like a couple more flights I had a hard landing on the uh, I think on the third flight so I'm going to I'm actually uh, redesigning it right now and here is the video to show you what I'm going to be doing. It is, it's, it's a really cool little plane and, uh, 
and I think it, it really is a good a good beginner plane, a really good stable platform. So uh, so check out this next part here. Uh, I wanted to show you kind of what I'm going to be changing on the beginner jet or the pocket rocket, whatever we're going to call it. Um, so I recessed the nacelle into the fuselage there. I changed up the vertical tails to be more like an F-22. And I made the fuselage more of a Coke bottle shape. So the whole thing is... Uh, is, is way better. Same wing. The wing is absolutely fantastic. I uh, figured out something really cool with this wing. And uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, uh, look forward to printing another one soon.